Thalita Bovo was born in 1984 in Brazil. In 2006, Thalita spent six months in Utica, during which time she met her fiancé, but returned to Brazil after the six-month period. She and her fiancé traveled back and forth until she finally immigrated permanently to Utica in 2008, and has remained here ever since. The transition between Brazil and Utica has been a learning experience for Thalita. Since becoming a permanent resident in Utica, she has recognized how different ethnic groups isolate themselves from one another. While not a former refugee, Thalita still contributes to the multicultural fabric of Utica's community today. In 2008, Thalita settled in South Utica and became employed at the Mohawk Valley Resource Center for Refugees. She injected herself into a program which supported recent refugees and immigrants such as herself. The challenges that Thalita faced in Utica were mainly related to language and education. I realized that a lot of people relate accent with lack of intelligence, so that affected me a lot the first two years. Thalita had attained a high level of schooling in Brazil and found that her academic accomplishments were not regarded in the same way in the United States as they were in Brazil. Thalita's first language is Portuguese, but she also speaks English and is able to communicate in Spanish as well. In Utica, Thalita's intelligence has been judged based on English being her second language. Fortunately, she has used this judgment as a driving force to imprint her role in the culturally diverse Utica community both on a social level and through her career at the MBRCR. Thalita feels comfortable and at home in Utica. However, she hopes that one day she may return to Brazil simply to be with friends and family who live there. The only reason why I would go back to Brazil is because I have family and friends over there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, here would be just fine for me. Many of Thalita's family, as well as her friends, have come to visit her in Utica. A lot of, of my friends came to visit. So they come, you gotta come and see with your eyes, because we do have the same kind of things, but the way they use that is different. She spoke about the segregation between different cultures and ethnicities that exists in Utica today. She first noticed this when spending her nights out in the city at bars and entertainment venues. It was clear that specific cultures have places in which they socialize and spend their time together. Utica is a multicultural community, however, making public space exclusive to certain ethnicities worries the leader about the multicultural openness of Utica. What I would like to change is that everything is for that certain group. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very hard to get from one group to other. So I would try to open people's minds and the groups. She explained how different festivals occur in Utica to celebrate the different cultures that have landed and exist there. These types of events promote inclusion between different ethnic groups rather than promoting a divided cultural city. To feel more comfortable getting in such kind of events or going to eat in some restaurants or going out in that bar because right now we feel like, oh, those are Bosnian bars, you know, those are Italian restaurants. I like to feel more comfortable doing that. People still live in groups. Thalita is very content with her life in Utica. Having the idea there is people from all over the world, so I feel like included mm -hmm. and globalized. She has a good source of transportation and easy access to all the necessities that she needs. For the size of the town, it has a little bit of everything and people from all over the place. Mm -hmm. In her position at the MBRCR, Thalita has the ability to help recent refugees and immigrants feel as comfortable in Utica as she now does. As well, because Thalita is aware of the segregation between ethnic communities, whether intentional or unintentional, her position at the MBRCR gives her the knowledge and power to effect change in the cultural community of Utica in the future.